Good morning. Uh, and thank you, first of all, for the opportunity to address you via this video message. I'm sorry I can't be there with you in person today. The topic you're discussing is a crucial one. Uh, there's an urgent need for, for coordinated action when it comes to protecting our critical digital infrastructure, especially in the case of 5G networks, which represent uh, a technological tipping point uh, of potentially profound significance. And where the scale of investment required, the complexity of the kit means that any decisions made today uh, will have long-term implications. Uh, that's why uh, we in the Commission uh, published a recommendation uh, in March uh, designed to ensure the security of our 5G networks, laying out a common EU approach to this challenge and sending a clear signal uh, to the Member States that this is also uh, a European critical digital infrastructure so that national decisions need to be coordinated because they have European-wide implications. Uh, for these reasons, uh, the approach starts from the existing legal commitments member states have already signed up to uh, that require them to prioritise security in electronic communication, data privacy uh, and protection of critical uh, infrastructure. By bringing these uh, existing pieces of legislation and regulation together uh, and throwing a spotlight on their strategic importance, our aim is to ensure that they are applied properly in practice. Uh, the recommendation uh, also sets out three further steps. First, uh, member states should carry out a national risk assessment uh, to identify potential security risks, both technical such as hard and software vulnerabilities, and importantly, non-technical, such as the legal framework applying to a given third country supplier, and to update their national measures to mitigate risks which they identify by the end of June. Second, these individual national risk assessments should be shared uh, and woven together into a European risk framework for 5G network security uh, by the beginning of October. And then, uh, as a third step, uh, best practice in terms of national mitigation measures uh, will be collected and turned into a toolbox of measures to be taken at both national and European level to mitigate security threats to our 5G networks uh, across the EU by the end of the year, by the end of December. Uh, all of this work uh, will be done in a new reinforced framework, bringing together key cyber security experts from across all of the member states, uh, which is going to be set up by the end of April. Uh, it's important to underline uh, that this recommendation is not targeted at any one company or any one country. Uh, indeed, Europe's market is open to all who abide by uh, our rules.